This next story is about helping Detroiters build wealth. It's happening through a new project strategically targeting vacant homes to rehab and sell. But as 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us, the goal is about so much more than just selling a house. The Rehab and Ready project has already completed about 90 homes across Detroit, just like this one, and they're looking to do another 200. It's a really nice house. You have to look at the kitchen. Veronica Johnson from the Detroit Land Bank Authority is showing us just one of many houses they've brought back to life through Rehab and Ready. With money from the Rocket Community Fund and the city of Detroit, they're turning vacant, blighted houses into move-in ready homes. It's about stabilizing neighborhoods. We're trying to transform blocks at a time. So we're not trying to scatter site. We're trying to be very, very strategic in, a, in the way that we're rehabbing. Because the Rehabbed and Ready project is about more than just making a house beautiful to sell. It's about creating comps in targeted neighborhoods across Detroit to help boost the value of other homes around it. We've seen all very positive feedback because generally people have felt stuck in some of those neighborhoods. They feel like they've earned the equity that they've built in their home. And because of factors that they cannot control, that equity is not available to them. Um, and so because of this program, Rehabs and Ready, we've been able to help unlock that equity for them so that they can refinance or sell if they want to, or buy a new home, upgrade their home. Marlene McDowell didn't particularly care for the idea of a rehab and ready house that had been vacant until he saw one and bought it. I always go to the suburban areas and find something nice, but being able to see that the rehab and ready homes are the same things, equivalent to those houses in the suburbs, that's a good thing as well. In the Rehabbed and Ready project, the Rocket Community Fund and the City of Detroit sink an average of about $100,000 into each house, and they actually sell it for about $20,000 less. By selling those properties, which we typically sell at a loss, uh, we not only uh, address some of the blight in the neighborhood, but then we also get what's called a comparable. And the comparable helps other homes in that same neighborhood to be valued. It might do a lot. You might see uh, it, it'll do a lot more. It will. It'll bring, it might bring it back together. Dwayne Jackson lives in a nice neighborhood and the house that had been boarded up for years is no more. I think it's great. I really do. It really brings the neighborhood up and uh, it, it just overall, it just, it, 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 I'm glad to see it in the city. If you'd like to find out more about the rehabbed and ready homes, go to our website, WXYZ.com. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Thank you, Kim.